Hello beautiful hearts, welcome or welcome back. So today's reading is going to be all about the person on your mind and how it is they are perceiving you. So for many of you, this person on your mind may be a love interest or someone you're attracted to, but for others it could be a friend or it could be someone who you have some kind of connection with through a creative endeavor or an acquaintance. Whoever this is, I just want to dive in and have a look and see what spirit has to say about how it is they're perceiving you. And of course, how someone perceives us is not always accurate. So that's what can make it interesting, I feel sometimes, to just have a look and see, you know, what ideas others might have. And of course, just taking what resonates with you, leaving behind anything that doesn't. You know yourself best, of course. Okay, so we've got our three piles here. And for pile one, we have the Tarot of the Holy Spectrum paired with our Lapis. So if you're drawn to the Lapis Lazuli or these plain backs, but they're beautiful, colourful cards underneath of the Tarot of the Holy Spectrum, you'll be pile one. For pile two, the Gorgeous Wizard's Tarot with our Malachite. So if you're drawn to the Malachite or the Wizard's Tarot, you'll be pile two. And for pile three, the Naked Heart Tarot with this beautiful carnelian. So take as long as you need to select your deck. Some of you may be asking about more than one person. If that's the case, I would encourage you to choose them separately. Some of you might be called to, you know, select at the same time this pile for that person, this pile for this person. But for me personally, my uh, feel is that taking a step back sometimes can kind of clear that energy but of course do what your intuition says that's just my recommendation if you're not sure would be to select them one at a time okay so that's what we've got for our piles here let's move into our piles now and i'll see you at your time stamp see you there okay beautiful pile one let's pop your crystal here and let's start by having a look at the tarot for how the person on your mind is perceiving you. Okay, I did intend to get six, but I have seven. I just felt like that extra one wanted to come out. So we've got Queen of Swords. Five of Swords in reverse. And it's got solutions and mistakes on the box there. Okay. The world eight of swords page of swords okay so a fair few swords on the table here part one the eight of wands and the four of wands let me just move these along here because that first card was an extra card and that feels like that may have come out there as a little bit of a significator for how this person is seeing you. So you don't have to be an air sign with that Queen of Swords coming up, but it's giving me a sense that perhaps this person feels you are closed off to them. They may feel like something about this connection has closed out or maybe the time between the two of you has reached the end here and you are about to move to a new beginning because of course this is the world card but look at the visual here it almost looks like we often see the full represented which I really like because it gives that full circle kind of feeling here so that queen of swords with the sword right in front of her mouth or her face is also making me wonder if perhaps this person feels like you're not interested in talking to them or that you're a little bit closed down to them. The Queen of Swords is someone who is very intelligent, someone who cuts to the chase 
or who sees through any illusions, any drama, any anything that uh, someone might be trying to present that is not crystal clear, it doesn't fly with this Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords sees it for what it is. And it's interesting that here she has this sword in front of her face like a block. And of course, it almost gives me an Eight of Swords feeling with the swords surrounding her. So it's like you have to kind of get past those swords to get to her, to even, for her to even acknowledge you or want to connect with you. So in terms of how they're perceiving you, they could be perceiving you, well, firstly, as someone who is very switched on, someone who sees through any illusions, someone who has good mental clarity. The way that that sword is pointing up straight through the top of the crown there is also making me feel like they see you as someone with good intuition. So the throat is blocked, the mouth is blocked block there, and the sword is being held across the body. So not being afraid to shut out anyone who doesn't align with you, whose energy doesn't connect with you. I just feel called to hold this card for a little bit and really tune into it because I feel like there's a lot coming through with it. So I'm getting Gemini energy coming through very strongly here. And so rather than jump to what I've uh, learned about Gemini, I feel called to jump to um, Geminis that I know. And so there's something a bit elusive about you that this person might be perceiving here. Something where they can't either, they may not be able to access you, like get you to pay attention to them or feel like they're a part of your world, but it's something beyond that. It's almost like they're not quite clear maybe on why that is. And it's possibly because you haven't felt the need to express that to them or to explain that to them. Or if you've said it, perhaps you said it once and that was it. So there's not really space for elaboration. I'm not getting that there's a lot of, it's like this person doesn't necessarily feel like they have access to your energy flow, all right? So when I say your energy flow, it's like the way that I'm perceiving this myself as I'm reading the cards is our energy is, shifts and changes okay we might have a particular feeling towards somebody or towards something but even that energy in itself can shift and change vibrationally throughout a day throughout a week throughout a month and this person may not know quite where you're at at any given minute i'm getting a sense that they're not able to access the nuances of what you're feeling at any given minute so there's something about you that feels unknown to them are locked away not just through words, but potentially through the feelings as well. Now, let me just have a look here. Five of Swords in reverse, and we've got mistakes, and then someone's writing the solution. So here's the mistakes with the swords through them. Okay, all the swords are being kind of rested, placed into this little book of mistakes, and it's like, I'm going to bring clarity to the mistakes and here is the solution, but it's in reverse. So perhaps they're seeing you as someone who is tired of finding solutions, tired of being the one to solve the problem, whatever the problem is, or problems around you, or maybe you are tired of extending yourself. It could be connected to them or it could just be in general. This person may feel like you are putting up this protective shield around yourself with these swords and even around what you are saying letting in and out okay letting in with the swords there and letting out with that sword right up in front of her you are doing that because you are tired of being the one who comes in with your swords 
comes in with your truth, comes in with your sharp mind, with your intuition, brings it all in here and says, this is how we solve it. This is how we make it right. But here it is. It's like in reverse, I'm done. I'm not doing that. I'm walking my own path. And <laughs> that's, sorry, I'm laughing because I'm seeing this eight of swords. And as I laid them down, I wasn't really thinking a whole lot as I was saying what the cards were. I was just trying to tune into the energy and I was talking about the Eight of Swords here, Eight of Swords here. So I'm going to come back and clarify this one. But a couple of the things that are coming through to me here is that someone may feel like you have said that you are done in being the one to come up with solutions or to try and put your energy towards something where you may have felt others weren't on board or you were the one doing the work or you were the one bringing your qualities, is the best way for me to put it, to the table and saying, here we go. This is how we fix this mistake. This is what we do. This is the solution. It's like, nope, done with that. Not doing it. Going my own direction. That chapter is closed okay that chapter is closed i'm moving on i'm going towards something new here i am open to a new experience looking at her body language but before when i was looking at this world card with that in infinity there above her and it was really catching my eye and now this eight of swords do they perhaps feel like you will um still be connected to something or that this is temporary. You're taking a temporary step back. Even if you have said, I'm stepping away from putting my energy towards something, do they perhaps feel, mm, hang on. Do they perhaps feel here that you're going to hold back? That's what this looks like now. Yeah, that you're making a very conscious choice here, even if, you may be called to go back to something. You're going to maybe say to yourself, I'm not going back to something or I'm not going back to putting my energy into a situation that was, wasn't, was it feels almost like I was doing it on my own. Like I was the one coming in with, with this clarity, with these answers or trying to find the solution like this one-sided, if it was one person, or even if it was a group of people, like I was the one doing the work and I'm not doing that. And even if I'm tempted to go back to it, this could be what they're thinking that you're that is going through your mind. Even if I'm tempted to go back to it, I'm going to hold myself back. I'm going to maintain my, my truth here. Wow, pile one. Now, I will be really interested to go into your oracle cards because I've made a big effort today. I mean, I always try to select the cards that I feel will go with the topic. But today, I selected particular cards that I felt would really dive into your personal attributes. And so this to me looks situational. This looks to me like how they are seeing you at this point in time, like where they are seeing you in connection to maybe their relationship to you where they are seeing you in connection to outward um, circumstances situations they could also be feeling like there is going to be some communication this person may be feeling like they want to communicate with you soon or that you're holding back from communicating with them but that there will be communication and here with this four of wands i'm also wondering if potentially they feel like there is something up here, whether it's them, it could very well be them that they're feeling or this situation that you feel it's like home. It's a place that I have such a connection to that even if I've had enough of working on it and I'm holding myself back from putting in this effort because it's draining, because I've had enough, because I'm doing everything, I at some point will return to it or alternatively it could be them feeling like you are going towards something that does feel like home but it's just this eight of swords that's making me wonder if there is some kind of message this person is either expecting from you or wanting to like something that they're wanting to say could be them 
expecting to hear from you that you have moved towards something else because of this cliff edge. Like I'm just waiting to hear because pile one is holding back from putting into something. I'm expecting at any time to hear that they have found something that feels like home where maybe at some point this felt like home. So take whatever resonates there because that feels like there's a couple of different messages coming through. But let's move in. Mm, sorry, hold on a second. Pile one, where do I want to go? I want to come back over here. I want to pull another card on this four of wands. Just show me this four of wands before we go to the oracle cards. Awakening. Yeah. So does this person feel like you are going through something hugely transformative now and that they are seeing you, they're on the outside seeing you going through some massive change where you are putting aside a part of you that was the problem solver, the solution finder, the BS um, radar, you know, that that kind of energy being sh pushed aside and you saying, nope, not going back there, I'm moving towards this. Are they feeling like this is what they're going to see with you? Is this is what's coming next? Queen of Wands, yeah, going after what it is that, <clears throat> it's not Queen of Cups, but it feels like going after what it is that fills your cup, that makes you feel alive, that invigorates you, that makes you feel like energized. So they feel like you are now prioritizing your own pursuits, prioritizing what makes you feel alive and vibrant and excited and happy instead of what makes you feel perhaps drained and frustrated even potentially okay now i did just mention the decks a moment ago i got to the both of these out to start with but will we start there no we won't start there <laughs> sorry okay we're going to start here. I was going to say I got both the straight talking tarot and the love edition because I know people are here for different connections. So let's just start with the get your truth deck and just get some more on how they're perceiving you. So I just got the um, name Peggy and I'm wondering... Because as soon as I got that, I got the saying, I've got them pegged. And that, to me, means that you've got something worked out. So this person feels like you work things out really quickly. You work people out really quickly. You're able to meet someone and very quickly understand the underlying current of where that person's at, maybe what they're really saying, reading between the lines. I mean, that name could literally be for someone, but... I felt like for most of you, it is about that saying and then feeling like, how does pole one understand these in-between bits, like the bits that aren't obvious, the bits that aren't seen by everyone? How do you pick up on it? That could be something that really surprises them with you. Fresh start. Okay, so we talked about that up here. <clears throat> Fresh start could be how this person's perceiving you. Pile one's taking a fresh start. Time apart. So remember we talked over here, pile one, about them feeling like perhaps they couldn't access you or there was something closed off. Time apart is an interesting way to put it. And I'm just going to point this out because it's coming uh, through, you know, to me as I'm talking and as I'm flipping this card is that time apart, there could be something around this person feeling like if there is a break, it's not permanent. You're holding yourself back on purpose, but it's not permanent. Maybe they feel like they'll hear from you because time apart is, it's only time apart, right? It's not completion perhaps in their eyes. Maybe they feel like this is just 
a time, a little bit of time, or maybe there's been time since this person saw you last and they see you as going on this fresh start. Um, you've moved away from a part of your life where you were solving things and helping people and doing, and not, not to say you're not necessarily helping anyone now, but there could have been something where you were putting a lot of energy, a lot into either a particular person, a situation, some kind of circumstance that caused you to go into this Queen of Swords and Eight of Swords mode. Closure needed, yeah, to feel like you needed closure perhaps. And perhaps this person's feeling like they need closure with you. That could be the other thing. Balancing Act. Okay. So in terms of their perception for you, a balancing act. That's making me want to come back to this Eight of Swords. Now, remember I talked on that Eight of Swords and I said that they could be seeing you as someone who, even though you have walked away and made some kind of decision here or you are putting your energy towards what makes you feel invigorated and alive and fills you with um, happiness, they might also feel like you desire at times to go back to something because it feels like home or because it's familiar or because you have a connection to something or to someone. So they could be seeing you as doing a little bit of a balancing act, like I need to balance my emotions, not let myself be called to something that ultimately might make me feel like I'm doing all the work or might make me feel frustrated. So perhaps there's something around balancing act that they're seeing. Okay. Let's keep going. How else are they seeing pile one? How else are they seeing pile one? Resistance. Okay. Let's get another. Surrender. And on the bottom, expansion. So very much those cards are feeling in line with what we were getting before. They may have felt like for a long time, maybe went around the time they knew you, if the two of you have drifted apart and you were relating to this time apart or if you're having some sort of time out or something like that, they may have felt like you resisted change. You held on to something. You kept putting an effort in. I'm getting this feeling of someone that may have felt like they didn't want to give up on something or didn't want to give up on someone or it was them that was holding it together. But ultimately, perhaps... The surrender card too, connecting to this feeling, ultimately perhaps feeling like, you know what, I can't do this all on my own. It's either a two-way street or I need other people on board or it's taking a lot from me and then saying I need to just surrender. You know, it's time for me to not be compromising perhaps my own energy, compromising my own boundaries, um, compromising my own happiness. That could have been a message there. And here we have expansion. So they're seeing you as someone who has been through something and come to a point after maybe resisting for a long time of saying, you know what, I can't keep resisting this. I need to surrender for my own happiness, for my own joy, for my own expansion. So this to me feels like someone who has seen you travel through something who has seen you experience something or is aware that you have experienced something that has been, what's the way I want to put this, that you have been very invested in at some point, but you have recognized is not, you can't do it on your own. Like it's not maybe something you could control or maybe it was someone else's behavior or actions or there was just something going on circumstantially around you or a connection where you felt like, I can't be the one to hold this. I can't be the one to always come up with the answers here. So take that if it connects. Let's keep going. Actually, I'm just going to pull that card out. I'm going to move those over there. Now, these cards are a little bit more shadowy, but I felt like we should 
you know, get a balanced view of how they're seeing you. The path. Okay, and what else? Divergence. Okay, and on the bottom four site. So we've been talking a lot about direction here and how this person feels like you are now taking control. Well, you know what? I want to backtrack a second there because I just said how you are now taking control. But up here, this was in some ways taking control of a situation, but it may not have felt like a... control that was it may not have felt like something that was truly in your control you may have been trying to help someone or trying to get something on the right path but it wasn't it wasn't working out it wasn't feeling good to you but here they're seeing you as being on the path they're seeing you as saying you know what now I'm going towards the things I want but it's interesting that divergence comes up next as the next card and you have foresight underneath and we did talk a little bit about them also seeing you as someone very intuitive and hopefully this cat I might just move it over in case it's not showing up is showing up on your screen so they feel like you are very well are very aware very well very aware that perhaps at any point you could be called back to either a person a situation a circumstance it could be anything that you are relating to if this if this these messages connect you could be called back there and so you are very much using your foresight using your gut using your intuition you're not allowing yourself just to be steered by the flow okay and i know that we talk about going with the flow is a good thing but this could be a case where going with the flow back towards something that didn't feel good to you may not be what you want so there's a little bit of you saying you know what i need to just exert my will here to go towards what i desire and perhaps as i'm saying that some of you have even called in for your guides or called in for help just to keep you heading towards the things that feel right for you to keep boundaries in place if something didn't feel good or to not give to something that um, was draining because this doesn't feel like a short thing to me this feels like it may have gone on for a while but i like this for foresight thing here so it's not like you are just saying you know what this is all behind me. You may be aware that it's still there on the peripheral. It could still be a person there who is wanting to connect with you. And you may not have even disconnected with this person. Could be the person you're asking about for some of you. You may not have disconnected with this person, this place, this situation. But by the same token, there does seem to be something about you disconnecting from trying to change it, trying to modify it trying to be in control of it and saying you know what even if it is there even if it is in my life that is something that needs or, or that is somebody or whatever that needs to just make their own decision about what they're going to do or how their path is going to go I'm going on my path here and like I said for some of you that person still has access to you but in a different way there's not this same access to your mind like you have boundaries you have something in place to protect yourself to keep yourself on your path but you are aware perhaps that this person or this place or this situation is very like you care maybe about them or you care about the situation and just because you've perhaps decided to go on a path and not invest so much and put boundaries up. That doesn't mean you don't care. In many ways, that can mean you do care because you're recognizing that, you know, you have your path, they have their path, and there can't be sometimes, sometimes it's not helpful to, um, to be doing everything for someone or for someone to be expecting you to solve things for them or, a situation 
to be weighing so heavily on you. So take that as it connects. Let's, I'm just going to move foresight over here. But I certainly feel like they see you as someone that has lots of foresight, lots of awareness about whatever this is you have walked away from, whatever this is that caused you to say, you know what, I, I need to recognize that all of this that I bring to the table, because the other thing that I'm being called to say here, pile one, if when I talk about all of this that you bring to the table, is this may even have been a pattern for some of you where people have recognized that you are a problem solver, you are someone with a sharp mind, you are someone that's able to come in and see situations for what they are. And because of that, perhaps people have leaned on you or called on you or relied on you very heavily. And to me, it's like, no, I just need a little bit of rest from that. I need to look at what makes me feel, what lights the sun up for me, you know, that kind of thing. Okay, let's get some of these cards, the Straight Talking Tarot. And then I'm going to get this deck in the Love Edition for those who are asking about a love connection or just someone where they have love. Okay, call now. Get a couple of these. <clears throat> and I'll talk about them in a second. Just get them out. Wow. Pile one. I just had to keep shuffling and shuffling that, which is why I'm speeding that one up. But after I pulled call now, nothing wanted to come out. And then I pulled open. So perhaps someone would demand your attention very quickly or there is something about you being on call or feeling like you were on call. This person could see you as someone who is very quick to jump to the aid of others, to do what others wanted. Also with call now, there could be something about them hoping you will connect with them and call them and I'm putting what's on the bottom. Take your time. <laughs> They're kind of conflicting messages, right? So you've got call now and take your time and open. Let me just get one more. We've got greed. All right. Call now, open and greed. Open and greed. This person could see you as someone who gave a lot of their energy, but they were able to maybe access a lot of your time and energy or someone else was able to access a lot of your time and energy. Because these cards feel immediate, right? Like call now, open, greed. They feel like impulsive kind of cards. So perhaps they feel like in the past you were impulsive or open to someone that was impulsive. But I'm definitely getting with the later cards with surrender and with those, um, the eight of swords and even divergence here. You've got the path and divergence that they are seeing you as making a conscious effort to shift that. So to shift something around maybe an impulsive person you were connected with, or maybe there was you maybe you felt like you were impulsive in some ways or went towards something that you didn't necessarily like you are not wanting to go towards now. Or you're wanting to temper a little bit there. Let's get the love ones and have a look and see if we can elaborate a little bit more. What have we got? Work it, girl. Okay. Love triangle. Sorry. Scam likely. Okay. All right. 
I'm just going to put this out there and it's not going to be for all of you. Someone may have felt like you devoted yourself to either a person or a connection in the past that was like with love triangle, it can be another person, but someone who can be another thing as well. So someone whose attention was not really as dedicated to you as you were to them. It could have been like, I'm going to work this out with this person or I'm going to wait here. I'm going to solve this problem. Maybe you were putting in the effort, you know, and maybe they were worried that you were getting taken advantage of or they're seeing you now very much as not in that vibe is what I'm getting. Not at all with that Queen of Swords. So perhaps they felt like in the past, your heart was very much an open an open place. And I'm even getting for a few of you, maybe this person saw you as a little bit naive or trusting in the past, but now they're feeling like, you know what, pile one is less, well, not just less trusting, pile one sees through things. And like I said, it doesn't have to be with them. We're just talking in general about how they perceive you or how they see you. So take it in the way that it connects for you. But these cards here feel very different to this first card. And I'm actually going to, I feel like I'm going to pull seven, four, pile two and three as well. Because I feel like that really wanted to come out there. It kind of just feels like it collates everything that was coming through, like the whole feeling of your reading. So this could be someone from what I'm seeing that sees you as in the past, you were very open, very trusting of either a situation or a person you gave to it and gave to it. And then at some point you said, no, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to surrender. I'm going to stop giving to it. Even though previously you may have said, you know what? I have to keep going. I have to keep giving to this. I'm the only one putting in the effort. But then I'd feel like you realized that being the only one putting in the effort was actually a sign to move towards what it was that made you happy. And there's some kind of awareness possibly that someone could reach out to you or that you could be tempted maybe back to someone, but you're very alert, like you're very switched on. So it's not like you're going to be called back to anything that doesn't serve you or you're going to go back into any kind of place. If you resonate with that message of, yes, I was giving to something and it wasn't going anywhere or I was the only one that was putting in the effort and the frustration was really high, I'm not getting that you would go back to that because of this Queen of Swords, because of this um, Foresight card. But there is an awareness that maybe there's still a, a bit of a temptation there. Like it's still, it's still something that maybe there are some connections to or that person, like I said, for a few of you may even be in your life in some way. But if they were to come back in, well, let's ask about this. For those who feel like this is a person or a situation and you know who or what it is, let's ask what would happen. Spirit, can you show me this way to re-enter? If, and it will be your choice, like we see here, path and divergence and foresight. So this is going to be entirely up to you what direction you decide to take. This person sees you as very much you know, in your power and having 20-20 vision for where you're heading and what you're going to allow in. Okay. Ten of Wands. Queen of Wands. So we had Queen of Wands before and Strength. Yeah. I don't feel like it would matter how hard it was for you to say the words if something doesn't align for you if something doesn't connect for you or feel right or if something feels like it's pulling me back in to be the one to do the work to carry the load I'm not doing it like I'm not there I am not going to be putting in and giving more than I'm getting there is something you've recognized here about maybe about your let me just try and tune in here 
to this because there's a message that's coming through. There's something here you have realised about your giving nature and how you want to express that and the importance of giving to yourself. So there may have been some denial of giving to the self or some prioritising of someone else's feelings at some point or prioritising of what was going on with them. And I feel there's been a big shift there and that's what this person is saying, a big shift. And here you come in as this Queen of Wands and the Strength card. So um, Leo energy here, you don't have to be a Leo, but I feel like this is how they're seeing you, someone who is strong, someone who holds firm to their convictions, someone who has made some kind of decision about a past way of connecting and relating to a person or a situation that they're not going to allow to repeat, even if it is a temptation, even if this person is a temptation. If there was a reconnect, it would be different. It wouldn't be in this same way of one-sided giving or you doing all the work. There is something about you. Um, let's just have a look. Something about you. Keeping boundaries tight, looking towards where you're going. Okay, looking towards where you're going and following your inner voice. So this intu intuition, for me, I know we're talking about their perception of you, but I just want to say this. For me, it's been very strong with you all of your life, but you may have only just started to listen to it recently or there may have been some rejection of some insights that you were having or some foresight maybe that you were having at some point and it's like no I'm not going to do that like I'm going to trust here really trusting the intuition like look at that cat is climbing up there above her head so you're weighing up very carefully what it is you give your energy to and how you give your energy to it that's the other thing it's not just what it's how so let's get some letters and let's get some charms I feel like depending on who this person is for you, poll one, if they are a person who you had some kind of connection with and there's some sort of break, that they will be very careful in how they approach you. And what was that, was that card we got here? Balancing Act. Perhaps this Balancing Act is also about how they approach you. They can't come in and expect to take all your time or expect you just to be open and available to them whenever they want. There's a recognition that things may not be the same or that you have other things that you're pursuing. Now, if this is someone where it's new, they may be aware that you have been through some kind of situation where you gave a lot and you were never going into a connection where you are expected to be available at the click of the fingers, uh, you know, that kind of thing. So perhaps that's what this balancing act is about because I feel like there's uh, layers of meaning. So this is for you, but also for them. So whoever this is, they seem to have either a feeling or an awareness that you have put boundaries in place. But also I am getting that for some of you, there is still something connected there that may want your attention. And you're like, mm, it's going to be different. Like I'm not just giving it all. I'm not just spending my energy like I'm spending my energy wisely that's probably the best way for me to put it okay okay let's put the lapis there let's get some letters out here we have got h g b B, K, N, K, E, E, T, M, X, M, H, Z, and A. Have I got any more? Yes, a couple more. 
got A, G, Y, O and Y. Okay, let's get some charms out here. Now, I don't really go through the names um, anymore and sit and channel because it just takes me so long and I had to keep um, trying to cut out the long gaps between it for you guys. Otherwise, you'll be sitting here forever because I'm not a fast channeler. I just sit with the energy for a long time. So uh, if you do like that when I do the channeling, Maybe we'll do some different kind of videos where, you know, if you're prepared to sit with that, I can just do something just with the channeling or something like that. Okay, so we've got, the, I do like to put the letters out in case you find particular initials or things there. So we've got two balls here, a cricket ball and a basketball. So perhaps something about sport they see connected to you. We've got the clock there. We've got the dog. So dogs are about loyalty, friendship. This person feels like you are, I feel, a very loyal friend, like you're very true, very much um, have people's back that you're connected with. And that came through before. Love, full of love, definitely. The tooth. Now, normally I would get that um, there's something around long connections or longevity, but here there could literally be something about your teeth that this person feels you've got nice teeth or nice smile, something around that. Bagpipes. So Scotland could be relevant for someone. But bagpipes are also making me think of like breath, like something about taking a big breath, a deep breath. You know, the way that the um, bag fills up here. So, and I believe they're not easy to learn. So perhaps there's something around um, it being, this is connecting with that message of it being a little bit hard for you to master this or it's, it, or it's something that you are mastering. A birthday, perhaps they feel like there's a birthday coming up soon or maybe they have a birthday coming up soon. A cheerleader, so you're getting through that energy of being someone who cheers others on, supports others, definitely. The baseball mitt and glove. So three here connecting with sport so there could be something around sport or maybe this person feels like you like to keep active we've got an l you are safe with me yeah see this is the vibe i was getting from you part one very much that you're a very caring person by nature but there's something about that that you're recognizing where you want to um be careful about how you spend that Spend that energy. So this always reminds me of those little word things in the cartoon where you get the words and they're encased in these little stars. So maybe they feel like you don't say a whole lot or when you do say something, they really pay attention. Like few and far words recently, that could be something there. A key. They might feel like you hold a key to something or that you hold the information as well. There's a small child, so perhaps there's something they really like about you connecting to that inner child energy as well. A phone, we've got a D, we've got an H, we've got a dragonfly. So dragonflies always remind me of connection to spirit. We've got a surf board as well. So three things that feel, uh, sorry, four things that feel very physical. And we've got an E. Hmm. So lead. We've got Dell. Could be short for a name. He. Hmm. 
Okay, they could just be initials. Just interesting that you've got those four out. Okay, that's what I've got for you, Pile 1. I hope that it was helpful for you. If it was, I'd love for you to either join us here at the channel if you haven't, hit that like button, both, whatever. Um, sending you lots of love and I hope to see you next time. Bye, Pile 1. Okay, beautiful Pile 2. Let's pop your crystal there and let's see what the cards say about how the person on your mind is perceiving you. For Pile 2, please. Okay, pile two. Let's have a look. So we have got the moon, the emperor, the star, okay, the wheel of fortune in reverse, the queen of swords. The Knight of Pentacles and the Hermit. Okay, got a fair few uh, major cards on the table, major arcanas. I'm getting that this person may see you as someone who is very uh, layered here, pole two. And with that moon card out, first of all, I just mentioned uh, this is Cancer Energy. But with this moon card out, first of all, they may be trying to work you out, to understand you better, to put together the different ideas that they have about you. Because to me, this set of cards is bringing through some energies that feel a little bit different in some ways. So it makes sense to me that the moon would be here. It almost feels like, you know what there are aspects i see of pile two and then sometimes they will do something that feels very very different so that's the first message i'm getting through and with the moon as well i do feel that they see you as very intuitive very much aware of your emotions very much connected to your emotions and true to your emotions, that's the other thing I'm getting. I'm being drawn to the two towers in the background with the moon between them. So they may feel that at different times that they've connected with you, pole two, there have been different sides to you that they've seen. I just keep getting something about that. So I feel like at some points they have seen a side to you that appears to them as very you know, emperor-like, structured. The emperor to me brings through a very controlled, powerful vibe. It's connected with Aries energy and particularly in this card, I notice the way he's wearing the armor and he's holding this uh, wand here with the crystal. It looks like a crystal on the end of it. I feel like there's something about that. Do you know what this is making me feel like, Pile 2? It's making me feel like there has been some kind of interaction that you've had with this person or something they have seen about your personality or perceived, because we're talking about perceived, and it may or may not be true. You know, we're talking simply about how another sees us at, at this time. But they could be seeing you as presenting some sort of very structured front or you know doing things by the rules or this is how I am and it's not easy to get past my shell here it's not easy to get closer to me and I've done a lot of thinking about this and that's the way I'm presenting and this is what you see is what you get but with this crystal here on the end of this uh, rod or wand it feels to me like even though they have seen that, they have had an inkling or something has shone through to them about you being very connected to your intuition and then feeling like perhaps this was a little bit of a, I won't say a front, but a little bit of a um, side to yourself that you have 
shown and that you're locking away some aspect of yourself in that moment like you're hiding away that softer flowier intuitive side but it's still there because he, here he is holding on to it okay so it's like even though this is what i'm presenting there is a part of me that is different and so even though they may feel like yeah pile two can get out there and really show these set these boundaries let's just put it that way that's probably the easiest way for me to describe it and pile two can really have this armor on when they want there's still something that shines through in some way and as i said shines through i got eyes so i don't know if it's like literally something they feel like they see in your eyes or i'm thinking of you know the eyes being the window to the soul there's something about your essence or your inner self that shines through that says yeah this is an aspect of me but there's more there's something deeper there's something intuitive knowing ancient as well because i'm thinking of how long it takes a crystal to form and so i can be strong when i have to i can have these boundaries when i have to i can set um limits and all of that but at the same time within don't think that that's all there is to me within there is a lot more and isn't it interesting pile two that the star card so aries emperor uh, aries emperor aries energy there with the emperor aquarius here uh, virgo energy down here and cancer up here you don't have to be any of those signs but i do like to mention them but isn't it interesting how the star card is looking across at this crystal and so perhaps they feel like this is the other side that they have seen at times or this is the part of you that Is more elusive or a part of you that only comes out sometimes so maybe sometimes they see this and other times they see this and they're trying to work out which one is which one is pile two like what is pile two's truth and the truth maybe it can two things can be true at once that's one thing i feel called to say the truth is that we all have many aspects you may identify with some of these things that they're perceiving or there may just be things about you that they're yet to understand there could be something about you pile two that this person feels like brings through this energy of it feels like a very uh, feminine very a very receptive trusting energy okay and also brings in that balance of hey listen to your intuition have faith in something bigger than ourselves and so even though in this 3d plane we may set these boundaries there is also space to be open and to trust that we are um, protected and loved and so these two cards are a really beautiful combination that to me suggests that they see various facets of you and we'll come down to the cards beneath because i am they're calling me as i'm sitting here but we'll get to them all right and so with the wheel of fortune in reverse perhaps they are wondering are they ever going to get to uncover this or how long will it take them to find this out or maybe they're feeling like with a page of pentacles that it's slow moving this connection is slow moving it's taking a long time there may even be with the hermit here something about you also going within like pulling within maybe they feel like they get close or maybe they and maybe that's what this wheel in reverse is about they feel like they get close and then there's a retreat maybe you pull inwards so there could be a sense that you know what pod two presents these different facets of themselves and i know there's so much to them there's depth here i get a lot of depth and there's mystery here and there's stuff that i want to uncover but as we get closer or anytime i feel like i'm getting closer 
pole two might pull inwards or something might happen where this hermit energy comes in. They could also see you as someone who is very insightful, who goes very deep. Excuse my dog, I might just have to... No, she's okay. Who has the ability to go very deep, to gain insight into what's going on in the world around them and to connect perhaps with their spiritual team. That's the other thing. They could be seeing you as someone who goes inward and connects with their either higher self, their spiritual team, whatever it is that makes you have that deeper understanding. So I want to come across to this Queen of Swords now because she was calling me as I was up here talking and I'm just trying to feel into that card. I love Queen of Swords, you know, the more that I'm working with Tarot, the more connected I'm feeling to this particular energy. And it's giving me the sense of them feeling like you know yourself very well, but they can't uncover things. That's what it's making me feel like. Queen of Swords, there may have been certain things you have said to them that have indicated you have a very good understanding of where you're at and that you're very comfortable moving and shifting between various energies, but yet... They seem to be still thinking there's more to uncover and perhaps there is more to uncover. I'm going to actually pull some more cards on this one in a moment. But with the Queen of Swords, they feel like you're very um, honest. I feel that you're able to have a lot of clarity on what others are truly saying, you know, really understanding between the lines. Like you're very... aware of what is truly going on beneath the surface and there is not much that escapes your notice that's the other thing that they're feeling with you so they could feel like they haven't really met anyone that brings in this kind of mix like a mix of someone who yeah I'm really clued in I know what's going on around me I can read between the lines of what people are saying I can pick up perhaps on the energies of where people are at picking up on truths that are hidden I am able also to go within and I have a I feel like saying a well of resource that I can go into like deep within so they feel like there's a lot of depth to you and because of that depth you are able to dig deep for answers and you have clarity so you see things clearly and if anything needs to be uncovered or if you need more insight you are able to go within to get it so they feel perhaps that not a lot can get past you they can't quite work it out though like how can you have someone who is coming across as so very logical yet also presenting this very intuitive uh, flow to them you feel like this real mix of energies to this person and I feel like that might be a little bit confusing to them or they're wanting to know more let's come down to the queen of swords let's just pull another card on her and then I want to go to the moon card because they're the ones that have me a little bit intrigued here so for the queen of swords please tell me more about why this queen of swords is here I feel like it's that one queen of cups Okay, and the moon. So the Empress is sort of out on its side. Let's take it upright. This person doesn't know what you want, perhaps, in connection with them. Because the Empress did come out on its side and we've got the um, on the bottom here the Four of Cups. So perhaps they don't know how much you are paying attention to them or connected to them. They may not have a very clear idea of exactly what it is you're wanting to manifest as well. So it's interesting. They feel like you have a lot of clarity 
because you're coming in as this Queen of Swords and then you've got the Queen of Cups on top of it. So I feel like we were talking about the intuition, like the mix here of the logic and the intuition. And I feel like that is such a beautiful card because look how she's pouring that water and she's just sitting in it. Yet I'm noticing that turtle there. So pile two... They may feel that even though you are very logical, that a lot of your clarity is coming from an intuitive place as well. Like you read between the lines because you just feel it, you just sense it. And you trust your intuitive hunches. Like if I get a feeling that something feels off or something doesn't feel right, maybe there's a lot of trust in that. And that's where this clarity comes from as well. So Queen of Swords, I always find her to be very straight talking, but perhaps with this Queen of Cups coming up on top of it as well, it's saying that you will speak out about what it is you are feeling about a situation as well, and you're not afraid to say, that's how I feel, and that's why I'm making this decision, or that's how I feel about something, and that's my stance on it. You don't maybe feel like you have to justify it or go into it. But I really, again, I'm getting that combination of them seeing you as someone who can really, uh, well, I'm not going to say stand in your power because this is powerful too, all right? But you're someone who can set those boundaries, who can say, you know what, don't overstep it. This is the line in the sand. And someone who can say, you know what, in this situation, it feels right to me. I have clarity around this and I'm going to trust in it. So very intuitive, but there's something around them not perhaps feeling like they have clarity or that they are clear about exactly what it is you want, what it is you want to manifest, what it is you're growing, what it is you want with them. Tell me more about how this person perceives part two, please, Spirit. two more about how they're perceiving you I feel like we'll take that one let's get one more and I guess that's going to be it we'll take it up that way all right okay four of swords king of swords I certainly don't get a sense of you being rushed into anything. So they could perceive you as someone who's not afraid to, to wait, that you know things are going to come to you, the things that you desire. You're not afraid to take time out to make sure that you feel balanced and not pressured. And with the Six of Wands, they see you as someone that is headed towards reaching your goals or what is it? Reaching your goals or getting recognition, perhaps. Ten of Swords on the bottom. Tell me more about that. Tell me more about this Six of Wands. Oops, that one just flew off onto my lap. Knight of Cups. Okay, so you've got two knights. You're getting lots of court cards here. They also may feel that you're someone that has a lot of people around you. Pile two, a lot of people vying for your attention or a lot of people who want to connect with you. You've got two knights here. But if that's representing people that want to connect with you, I feel like uh, this person feels that you're not rushing into anything. Whatever it is, whether it's romantic connections, whether it's work things, whether it's some sort of decision going on in another area of your life you're not rushing into it you take your time you're not afraid you know that the right things will come to you in time because you know that you um, get these intuitive hits and you don't need to rush things all right so there's something around that look at that six of pentacles on the bottom so this person sees you as a person who's going to manifest a lot into your world and have, I feel, has a lot of people perhaps 
vying for their attention or wanting you to give you their sorry give them your attention you may have people that want you to give to them but you're very uh selective is what i get justice in reverse underneath so you are selective in what you give to and you don't just use logic to choose what you give to or who you give to you use your intuition as well and there's more than uh one person around you potentially wanting to connect with you deeply or wanting you to give to them and there's that star again so they may be hoping that the connection with you will go deeper that they can get to unravel this to learn more about you to understand more about you for this wheel to turn upright that maybe in time they'll have a more comprehensive understanding of all the different layers of you because the thing that i'm getting is that they do see there are various layers of you they see that there is um, a lot that they don't yet know though okay let's get some oracle cards on the table we're going to start with the get your truth what else about how this person perceives pile two? What else about how this person perceives pile two? How else? that one get one more no, I feel like that one too okay so pause before acting so this is what we talked about pile two that you're not going to be hurried by anyone you're not afraid to take your time you have a lot of trust in yourself you won't be pushed they may feel like there are multiple people wanting your attention wanting you to turn your eye towards them that's the thing here they may feel like, you know what, pole two has a lot of people that would love for them to just move towards them. They could be one of them, the person on your mind, but you're not going to be hurried, particularly with that hermit card. Okay, you're not going to be hurried. Let's keep going. Okay. Interest there. I don't know what I can say on here and not, but physical interest. All right. So they may feel that that's what they have in you or that a lot of people have that in you and soul tribe. See, a lot of people want your energy is what I keep getting from this spread here, particularly with this um, Knight of Wands here and this Knight of um, Cups. And you had a lot of other court cards, like I said. There's something about you that may feel very balanced to people, very intriguing also as well. And I know that they may sound funny, like we kind of think maybe of people that bring in a balanced energy as very transparent, but I don't necessarily feel that. I feel people know that you know where you're at. You're, you're good with yourself. Like you know exactly who you are. And because of that, you don't need others to understand you yet others still seem intrigued particularly this person so there could be a lot of interest from people wanting to be physical with you wanting to connect with you this person may feel like you know they want to connect with you in that way they may be wondering if you're interested in them that way let's keep going they may feel a lot of other people are interested in you that way detachment okay we'll put that over pause before acting what else have we got i really love these soul seed cards too because they i feel like they um just give such beautiful insights transition all right the beginning and emerging so before you begin anything, before you decide, yeah, this is what I'm going to move into, 
there is a period where you withdraw perhaps they might feel like you are in that period at the moment like is pile two currently withdrawing because they are about to transition into a new beginning are they going to emerge and blossom out into something new a new connection a new direction something a little bit unpredictable will they perhaps will there perhaps be an opportunity for me to get to know them better or will they connect with somebody else or something else or will their energy go in a different direction so i feel like they never quite know your next move but they do know that you lay low you go a bit quiet when you are planning or tuning in to that intuition so they might be feeling like you are about to begin some sort of new endeavor or you're about to blossom in some area of your life let's keep going okay manifestation intellect okay let's get one more love that octopus on the intellect card i saw a show recently about um octopi <laughs> octopi and how intelligent they are and they're just amazing creatures the aristocrat okay so there's something about you that this person perceives i feel as being different to the masses different to the crowd standing out and it's not just intellect they do feel like you are very intelligent we've already talked about that they feel like you're someone who is um, not just able to come at things from that very intellectual stance but also from the intuitive stance but there is something about that balance for manifesting of using the two areas the two things to manifest all right but with aristocrat here i feel like this person feels like you're going to go far and that the people that you're going to allow to connect with you are going to be people that um well that you're going to be cautious about what you engage in and who you engage with let's just put it that way and i don't mean aristocrat as in you know people sometimes think of that and they think oh someone's snobby or something like that i'm not getting that but this person knows that you're bringing quality to the table okay and they know that you're bringing in this energy of cutting through any nonsense all right so because of that you're not just going to let anyone take up your time or anything take up your time so it's like you're putting yourself at this certain level you're making sure you maintain this certain level of connection this certain level of putting your energy into endeavors and relationships that connect with you and what feels right to you and what connects with your wisdom here like your intellect and what it is you want to manifest for the future so i feel like they may be looking at you and saying you know what pile two doesn't just open the door to anyone they don't just let anyone in i feel like at the moment maybe they're a bit withdrawn they might be looking at you as being a little bit withdrawn because you're about to move into a period of a new beginning or blossoming with someone or something and you're deep in thought about it so they may be hoping that if you um come if you are relating to that message and you feel like you have been a little bit of hermit mode that as you come out that there'll be more of a connection with them and that something can blossom but they feel like not everyone is going to get to be around you not everyone will get to share in that energy is what i'm getting here let's keep going interesting set of cards pile two Okay. oops okay i'm gonna take these because they kind of went into my hand all right beware success win never give up so isn't that interesting that the cards you've got there pile two are very much about someone who is driven so the macy was very driven but also cautious with that beware symbolism there all right so they feel like you are heading towards success that you are going to maybe that you have like that minus touch everything you touch turns to gold that kind of thing that you don't give up that you have tenacity that you're very determined they could feel like um 
you're very cautious about who you let near you because you want to maintain some quality connections around you, some quality energy around you. But this is someone who is bringing through a lot of uh, optimistic vibration. Now, for those of you who are asking about a love connection. Sorry, guys, my dog just lost the plot. Okay, let's keep going here. All right, so for those of you interested in a love connection, these ones are the Straight Talking Tarot Love Edition. Let's have a look. Game over. What else have we got? Okay, I feel like that one. That one. And that one, okay. All right, I love that passion flipped over there. All right, so game over passion. This person may really feel that, uh, you know, seeing you perhaps has aroused a lot of passion in them, that it's game over for them, like they've found someone that, you know, ticks all those boxes for them, that really evokes a lot of passion in them and that they really hope things go further here because I noticed that heart in the background is split there. You've got warning here. Perhaps and perfect. Yeah, so maybe with those four cards, actually, I'll put the love edition ones up the top and I'll move these two here. So maybe with warning there, they feel like they are quite taken and that maybe the feelings aren't reciprocated. They could be perceiving you as not as into them as they are to you. Or perhaps they feel like you're not looking for a connection or that, like I said, a lot of people are interested in you romantically or that you have, you know, a lot of attention here, but you're very cautious about who you would get things off the ground with. And they might feel like, you know what, this ticks all the boxes for me. This could be game over. This could be my person. But they might feel, like I said, that you've gone inwards, like you're in your hermit cave or you're looking at manifesting other things. Maybe your attention is on some kind of creative endeavor or some sort of work endeavor, or maybe they feel like they're not quite sure what it's on because of this moon card and the Empress in reverse. So not quite being sure, perhaps. Let's have a look. Not quite being sure where you're at in terms of what it is you want long term. That could be something. They might see you as a little bit, you give a very elusive feeling. I have to say that. Like that's what I'm getting from this read. Someone who sees you as quite elusive, quite difficult to pin down and say, yes, this is exactly what pile two is like. They're like this and that's it. Because the minute that they think you're like this, then you might be like that. So perhaps. That's why this Empress card is in reverse. Like, what do they want? Where do they want to go with this? Like, what is their dream here? And maybe the other thing I'm getting through for some of you, they could be wondering what you're like at home. I'm not sure why that's coming through. I mean, she's sitting here. She looks like she's in some kind of very nice home environment, sitting by her window there with the garden outside. But the fact that she's inside and it looks like she's holding a wand pointing outside they may feel like they have a small picture of what your life is like or maybe, but, but they're not quite sure what it is you want to manifest outside of that or maybe they can see you on social media or they can see you, at, you know, when they connect with you at work or wherever it is that they see you, but they're not quite sure what it is you're working out on outside of that. Like what is the bigger picture here? What is it outside of that that Pile 2 wants? I don't quite know because Pile 2 only gives snippets. Or pile two sometimes seems like this and then other times they seem like that. But there's something about that perhaps that they either they like or they feel like others around you look at you and say pile two ticks all the boxes. Pile two um, maybe looks like they have a perfect life or maybe there's something about you that really 
looks perfect to a lot of people. Like, yeah, you're that that person for a lot of people. But there's a lot of determination coming through in your pile here. We've got win, never give up, beware and success. And even beware is like being conscious of the things that could put us off track maybe, being conscious of people that could interfere with our plans, being conscious of any uh, negative um, energy that could impede us getting to where it is we want to go. So this person feels like you've got a lot of drive. That's the other thing, you know, well, not the other thing that was coming through as well, but to put it um, more succinctly, they feel like you have a lot of drive towards the things that you're passionate about towards the things that connect with your heart space, but they're not quite sure what all of them are. And is there a bigger picture beyond that? If they know one or two things, is there more? Like what is the bigger picture here for pile two? So hoping perhaps that they can find out more about what that is. Let's get some letters out for you, pile two. For pile two, please, Spirit. Pile two. We've got W. D, R, X, D, X, M, L, I, Z, Y, R, M, K, E, B, P, G, K, U, and X. Do you know, as I laid down the M, K, and E, obviously it looks like the word make, but it made me think of what it is you want to make in your life. Like, what? where do you want to go? What do you want to build? So maybe this person is uh, wondering, like, what your end goal is, what's your end game, you know, like, where is it you're wanting to head from here? Now, I don't really channel through the names recently. I haven't been because it just takes me so long. I'm so slow at it. And I feel like, you know, I just sit here for ages and then I have to cut out all the long silences. But I do like to pull the letters so you can see if there are any initials or names. But feel free to put anything that you find. I always talk when I'm stirring the charms up and then I think I've got to cut that sound out because it's so loud. Okay, so we've got the teddy bear here. You know, usually I would think of hugs when I think of this teddy bear or something very cuddly and maybe that is how some of these um, people are perceiving you or this person is perceiving you for some of you. But... The thing that I'm getting here is that this person may feel like you have held on to a childlike quality. That could be the other thing because we usually have these bears as children, right? And so perhaps they feel like you have managed to hold on to something around your childlike enthusiasm. We've got that feather, which is connection to spirit. They could feel like you have a deep connection to your guides, to your higher self, the wishing well, so a manifester. They do see you, I feel, as a manifester, someone who is creating. They feel like you're very sweet. There's that little lolly there. So this one always makes me think of the little um, word, not bubbles, well, you know, word bubbles or word whatever's in comics. And so perhaps they feel like your words, your a little bit uncareful in what you share out or they can just get snippets or they pay a lot of attention to what you say the airplane maybe they feel like you're well traveled or you could have a connection to overseas from where they are the portrait there could be a particular picture of you that they really love or maybe they feel like let me just sit with it for a sec you know, she's side on. It's like a profile picture here. Maybe they feel like that profile picture represents you never quite showing as much as they would like in a picture, like the setting. I'm talking about the setting here. So maybe they feel like they get a little bit of what you did on a weekend or 
what you, you know, like a snippet here and a snippet there. Inspire. They might feel like you're very inspirational. There's that explore. They might feel like you want to explore. You have explored the world. They may feel like there is something around you being adventurous. Um, Sagittarius energy also is coming through to me as I'm holding that. The angel wings, beautiful. They may feel like you hold on to this um, beautiful energy of they may have seen you help others or be referred to as an angel in some way. We've got a J. I'll put it there. We have got protected. Okay. A basketball and a hoop. Yeah. To me, this is those people that want to connect with you, be around you, feel like being with you is an accomplishment, like it's a score to be able to connect with pile two. Like they feel good about being connected with you. Now, if this is a love interest, who you are asking about, they may feel that there is another person in particular, or it could represent more than one person, that is being a little bit of a block here. Because this triangle always makes me think of like three-way um, things. It doesn't have to be a person or people. It could even be feeling like there's something blocking the connection, like because you're busy with something else or something along those lines. PlayStation. Now, this could literally be about a game, like them seeing you as someone who plays the PlayStation or something like that. But it could also be about the game of life, like the way that you are very... Oh, sorry, I'm dropping things. The way that you are very good at using all of the tools at your disposal to navigate your way through things and to know just when to pause and take a time out before making a decision. What have we got here? Believe. Commitment. They could also see you as someone who is very uh, committed to something once you make that decision. So maybe that's why you hold off and you don't just jump into anything. It's like, I'm not going to jump into anything because if I commit, then I take it seriously. What have we got here? We've got Capricorn. We've got the bagpipe. So maybe a connection to Scotland. I was talking before about the bagpipes. <clears throat> being I believe hard to play and maybe they feel like you are prepared to take time to master things as well what have we got here we've got an E we've got this lightning so perhaps there's something about their attraction to you or they feel like when you come into a room people notice you Perfume, something about your scent. Maybe they perceive you as uh, someone who is very conscious of the finer details of your dress, of your appearance, of getting ready. And there's that act. You're not afraid to cut out things of your life that don't feel right to you is what I'm getting with that axe. So that's what I'm getting for you, Pile 2. I think that uh, this person feels like you are very much your own person and very much know yourself that's what i'm getting here all right so if it did help it would be great if you could hit that like button love you to join the channel if you haven't already otherwise hopefully i'll see you next time take care sending you lots of love bye pile two okay beautiful pile three let's pop your carnelian there and let's have a look and see what the cards have to say about how the person on your mind perceives you. Pile three. For pile three, the five of swords, the seven of pentacles, the star in reverse, 
the Four of Swords, the Devil, the Eight of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so Capricorn energy here, Aquarius energy there. You don't have to be those signs, but I feel like this person is looking at you as someone who is perhaps quite a fighter here, Pile 3, in terms of you have been through some stuff or you know what it's like to have to stand on your own two feet or to build and create to grow something for yourself. Let's just have a look here. You know, this whole top row here, there could even be something here around them feeling like you've uh, had some kind of situation where you have lost lost hope in the past or you had something and you are you had it and it looked like it was all going well and now you are needing to rebuild it let me just look on the bottom here seven of cups so i do feel like this person sees you as someone who is open to opportunities someone who can see potentials possibilities who can imagine different directions or different things coming to fruition but i'm also getting a sense that this person doesn't see you as someone that's had everything handed to you and that there's been some kind of maybe hardship in the past or maybe you have worked towards something and it didn't quite go the way you planned or there's a period of pause around that maybe. Like the seven of pentacles is about where we lay our roots down, what we hope to grow. Do you know what I'm even getting here, pile three, is that there could have been something around a particular area that you were hoping to study on or learn on or move into, but it hasn't quite lift it off for you it might feel like it's a little bit like you're in this four of swords rest energy and the thing about the four of swords i'm always called to how it's just about the period of rest like it's not necessarily a complete stop and underneath it you have the three of pentacles so it's, it gives me kind of that taking a breath, taking a breather and then getting ready to go back in and to use that determination and use that drive to work towards something that I really want. So I feel like this person sees you as someone who's very determined, someone that hasn't had things handed to them, that potentially for some of you have um, has worked towards something and it didn't fall into place in exactly maybe the timeline you're expecting or you're still waiting for it to fall into place. So that's the first thing that's coming through here. But the three of pentacles is about um, putting the work in, you know, building those foundations. Maybe even some kind of collaborating or connecting like networking here as well now it's interesting because i'm being called back over to this devil card and this eight of wands they may also feel that there there's something around um, communication with you let me just hold on to it for a second let me pull another card on this Show me this devil card. I'm getting a sense, okay, it's just from here and I'm not quite sure why, but I'm getting a sense that for some of them, they may feel like you're a little bit hard to, you know, to ca catch you, you know, like you, your energy comes in with this devil and eight of wands like you 
come in, they connect with you for a while, but then you are back working on something else or you retreat possibly. Like there could be a little bit of they can't quite get as much of your time as they would like because your attention could be elsewhere or you could just be very focused on something else. And I feel also that that devil card is speaking to potentially them feeling like Maybe they can't get you off their mind or other people can't get you off their mind. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, look at this. So you may be a person or they, their perception may be that you are a person who works very hard to do things on your own, to stand on your own, to not really accept outside help or that there is something here that you are very determined to do to and the hanged man on the bottom to move towards to do to complete i want to ask about this five of swords because that nine of pentacles is very much about building your world making it the way you want it tell me more about the five of swords why is the five of swords up here for how this person sees pile three I am getting a sense as I'm reading your pile here, pile three, that this person has a lot of respect for the way that you approach things, but may feel that you do things a little bit the hard way at times or might, maybe it's not the approach they would take or they feel like, wow, you know, pile three really gets in there and does it, even if things don't always fall into place or the plan doesn't always go according to how it's expected, which I feel like is always in life, that can happen. But there's something about you being extremely determined, extremely focused. And it's giving me a sense of them recognising this resilience in you, this tenacity in you. I want to see more about this Five of Swords. Show me more about the Five of Swords. Now, I'm not sure why this is coming through. I'm just going to say it before I flip this card, actually. Um, I'm not sure why this is coming through for me with the Five of Swords up here. Some of them may feel like you had people that didn't uh, stand by your side or that certain people didn't back you up. So it's almost giving me a sense of maybe they see you as someone that goes against the group or like there's a little bit of a rebellious nature here, but it doesn't feel like rebelling for the sake of rebelling. It feels like if no one's going to see my vision, it doesn't mean that I'm going to give up on my vision or it doesn't mean that I'm just going to follow the group, follow the crowd. I definitely don't get a feeling that they see you as someone who follows the crowd here and I don't get the feeling that they see you as someone that's had things easy. This to me is someone who has had some difficulties to work through and continues to keep focused on where it is they are going, despite the fact that that may not always be blatantly clear. Now, here is the Four of Wands, or clear to others, I should say. Here's the Four of Wands appearing and the Seven of Cups on the bottom again. This person may also perceive you as someone where there is a deep sense of connection, like they have a deep sense of connection to you or a deep sense of understanding. And it may not necessarily always be sp spoken. This could be because I'm looking at these two flowers and it's giving me that kind of mirrored feeling. So perhaps there's something about your journey or the way that you approach things and There's something I'm wanting to get here because I can feel it just under the surface. 
there's something they may be relating to. Like personally, it may feel very similar to a path they have walked or feelings that they have or a particular way they respond to certain situations. And I just want to shuffle some more cards because to me, it does feel like perhaps you have felt on the outer or outside of the... Outside of the group, out, on the outside. And I know Five of Pentacles isn't on the table, but it's giving me that kind of feeling. The Emperor. Someone who's not afraid to be their own person. Look at that. You're not afraid to step outside of the rules here, okay? Even though it may have meant that you have lost certain opportunities or, or with the star in reverse, it may have meant that certain things you've hoped would come sooner is the way that I want to say it. Certain opportunities or certain, maybe certain security or certain situations in your life that you would have hoped would have fallen into place sooner or been available to you sooner. Even though stepping outside of maybe social norms or following your own heart and your own path rather than what others have told you, this is the way it should be done or why don't you do this, everyone else does this. There's something here with this Emperor in Reverse and the Strength card about you not being afraid to shake the status quo, to be your own person. There's something very original about you. And interestingly, with the star and it representing Aquarius energy, I always talk about with this, um, whenever Aquarius energy is on my table, I often mention how I feel like they are such... trendsetters like and I don't necessarily mean that as in a trend of fashion but it's like they set the pace and others then look to them and say wow they did it you know they did it and they did it they marched to the beat of their own drum and that's the feeling I'm getting from you regardless if you're Aquarius or not the fact that this is here you may have found that um, being in that energy or if you're resonating with this that being a person who says no I'm going to grow my world, I'm going to grow my um, seven of pentacles. I'm going to be in this nine of pentacles, okay, standing on my own the way that I want to do it. And others have said, you know what, if you go that way, it's going to take you much longer. Or if you do it that way, it's not going to work out. Or why don't you just take this help here? It's almost a sense of someone saying, here, here it is. I can almost hand it to you. All you have to do is follow the rules. And they may see you as someone that, someone that would say, thanks, but no thanks. I'd rather do it my way and have that pride at the end of the day that I did the work. And so I feel like they see you as someone who's connecting with people that are really um, in alignment with you. And that um, this could be to do with work or it could even be to do with social circles. So there's something very original about you, something very different about you. There's something visionary also perhaps with this seven of cups that they're seeing. I am seeing the innocence of cups peeping out here. I feel called to uncover it. So, oh my goodness, what was that? So with the um, innocence of cups, which is our page, there's almost a sense of childlike wonder that this person may feel you bring to the table. And it's not a naivety. It's not a foolishness at all. It is something about your soul that is open to new experiences and wants to experience things in a different way, perhaps than people around you are, or in a different way to how you've been told things are going to go. So it almost feels like walking the path less traveled, you know, that kind of feeling. And I just want to sip this for a second longer. Innocence of cups, seven of cups. They may also see you as someone who has a lot of ideas, a lot of potential directions that you could go in. There could be something unpredictable as well about what it is you are going to manifest here. But that innocence of cups and the seven of cups, it is giving me that sense of this is someone who is 
going to live their life differently and bring in some really beautiful, fresh energy because they're unafraid. There's something about being unafraid to take chances. There's something about being unafraid to go against the group think. Okay, so that's the first thing I'm getting here. And also, maybe this is how they are. Maybe this is why this four of um, wands is coming up here. And I'm just going to pass through a message that just came through then. And it's only going to be for one or two of you potentially. But the four of wands with the five of swords, and I just mentioned going against the group thing, I think, there could have been something about you actually having some kind of connections that maybe you connect with people that are not accepted by others in society or there's something about you Let me just have a look at this there's something about you holding on to your values and beliefs and connecting with others On a soul level. So it's like you see past the exterior. You see past the attachments and the labels is what I'm getting. Okay, so this could be them, but I feel like it extends beyond them. And I did start off by saying this message could be just for a few of you. That bit that I was getting was there could have been a particular connection that others didn't accept that you entered into at some stage or a person you connected with and you... You found that connection very expansive for your mind. So that's that message that I just wanted to put through. But I feel for most of you here in Pile 3, this person could see you as someone who doesn't really look at the, um, doesn't care for the outward labels, doesn't care. Maybe you have friends in a different um completely different lifestyle than you or something like that. There is something about it doesn't matter. If we are different, there are commonalities between us. Or if there are commonalities, say, in the way that we think, maybe we both are original thinkers or we both share certain thoughts and ideas, then you will connect and talk to people. It's not like you will shut them out. And others, you may have faced some backlash about that or others may have wanted to keep you on a certain pathway. So they feel like you are unafraid to speak your truth, connect with people who are who you feel right connecting with and ideas that you feel right about. So very much an original thinker here, marching to the beat of your own drum is what I'm getting. Let's keep going here, pile three. What else for how this person perceives pile three? Like I said with the devil card, they may feel that your energy is a little bit hard to hold down like there could be something about you like you how do I word this I was going to say you come in and connect and then you're off doing whatever it is working on something building something maybe you have a, your hands in a lot of pots a lot of projects a lot of a lot of different things going on there may also be a lot of people who are drawn to you but I feel like you know instinctively who are the people you want to connect with and it's not ruled by what their um you know income is or how they dress or where they live or whether they're friends with such and such or what they can do for you it's nothing about that for you for you the connection has to be authentic it has to feel right so they see you as someone very what's the right word for that I guess it's an authentic, an authentic um, aspect of someone, isn't it? Like when they are just coming to the table and they're very down to earth and they're not really worried about all this 3D, this is what this person you should connect with there at this level and that person works there and that's their job and, you know, so-and-so is going out with this person and all the rest of it. They see you as very authentic. Okay, so you've got Queen of Cups in reverse. 
Tell me more about how they see pole three, please, Spirit. More about how they see pole three. Six of swords in reverse. Yeah, I'm just checking my deck. It's not, it's not all in reverse. It's all up and down. So as I'm laying these cards down, I'm getting the message that perhaps some of you are involved in particular causes or have certain passions that you are not prepared to walk away from, even if they're difficult, like you're working towards them. And so these may be personal goals, as in work-wise, or there could be a blending here of these two things, but they can also be in terms of certain um, things you support or groups you support or causes you support. Something around that is like you stand by the things that you support, even if times are difficult or even if it's not in vogue, you know, even if it's not the trend. So this is why I got that um, thing about being the trend setup because you don't look at what's happening now and you don't care about trends. But others may look to you and say, oh, wow, you know, okay, we've moved away from that. Let's look to what pile three is doing. So I feel like you're ahead of your time in that way. All right, let's keep going here. So they see you as someone who is prepared to stand by the things that you say matter to you because they do matter to you. So you're true to your word. And even if it's not always easy, even if this puts you on the outer, even if this makes makes it difficult or there are hard conversations to be had. Set boundaries. Okay. What else about how they see part three? What else about how they see part three, please? I'm just going to pull another one. Take that one. Fresh start, set boundaries, feeling alone. So we had down here this Nine of Pentacles, okay, and we talked for a bit about you being in this very independent energy, growing your world, maybe doing things on your own. And then I paused for a moment. I said that there was something else I wanted to tap into that may have been connected to something about how they felt or how they responded. And now this feeling alone card is out on the table. Excuse me, coughing. It's making me feel like perhaps some of them may feel like you do things on your own and possibly even they perceive you as feeling alone because you are very determined to have boundaries with people who might colour or influence the way things are done or try and change your mind or try and maybe, um, I'll ask why, but the word that's coming to me is control. So maybe some of them feel like you are very determined to maintain freedom and you don't like restriction. You don't like being held back. And I know most people don't like feeling restriction, but some people are happy for another person to take control and set the boundaries. But I feel like they see you as someone who really wants to spread their wings, does not like having their wings clipped, you know, doesn't like someone in them in there telling them how things should be done. And perhaps with Fresh Start, that could be connecting to this. Maybe in the past there were too many people telling you how to do things, telling you what direction to go, telling you what boundaries to have. And potentially you said, I'm setting boundaries around these connections. I'm going on my own to do the things that feel right for me. But possibly this person feels like that meant cutting ties 
with some people that um, you weren't vibing with or maybe reducing contact a bit or they might be worrying that you feel alone, like you do everything alone. Is it hard for pile three because they do a lot without help or they don't accept help or something around that? They might be perceiving it that way. It may or may not be true. Some of you might say, yeah, I like to do things on my own. That's just how I am. I've had past experiences with people trying to steer my ship and that's not what I want. Others of you might be saying that could be their perception, but that's not um, the reality of it. I have people helping me behind the scenes, but we're talking about their perception here. So I feel like they see you as someone who would maybe say no to help, even if it meant feeling alone sometimes, possibly. This could be linked to a fresh start that you made following someone who was or maybe more than one someone you know it's interesting because now that i'm reading this and i'm thinking about what i was talking about earlier where this person sees your energy as very having that childlike wonder it almost feels like a freshness to it okay well we've got the word fresh there too so like a freshness to your energy a wonder for the world a joyful wonder let's just say, for what could come, what could be, all the potentials out there with these cups. But possibly because you bring forth that beautiful energy of I'm ready to experience, I'm ready to see what's out there, I'm open to what the universe sends me. Maybe, and I know that I've seen this happen with people, maybe that beautiful openness that you bring other people or some other people have mistaken that for naivety, have mistaken that for, oh, I better step in and help pile three because pile three will get lost. They don't know. Like they have all these ideas and they can't make their mind up. So let me just step in and make their mind up for them. So maybe there was something around you feeling in the past that others treated you like you couldn't run, you know, Take the, take the control of your own steering wheel, like direct your own life, drive your chariot. Like there could have been something around that. And this is why you're now saying, hang on, I'm not a child. I'm not a person who needs everyone to tell me which direction to go. I have very clear ideas. I may not have set out every single direction or, or, or <laughs> let me get the words out, or every single step of the way that I want to go on my path but I know the type of connections I want and I know the type of life I want and I know it to be one that I built from my heart, not somebody else's dream, my dream, my work, my effort. And I'm happy to collaborate here, but I don't want anyone coming in trying to tell me how to do it and collaborate with people that um, I choose, okay? Collaborate with people that will work with me not try and steer this. All right, so I feel like they see you as someone that doesn't want your wings clipped. Now, that could be in terms of work. It could be in terms of relationships. Maybe they feel like that carries through, that theme carries through in your life where you have this very independent energy, this wonder for what could be, this openness to new experiences. All of this and... This can be very also, I just feel like mentioning too, because of the devil card, this can not only be very appealing to them and maybe a mirror for some of them, it could also be very attractive to other people because the devil card, it's making me feel in this context that um, we're asking about how they perceive you. It could be that you get very fixated on the direction that you're going to go, like very determined to go on your pathway, your way. This is your way of doing things. But also by the same token, they may see that others get very determined to be around you, to connect with you, to be around this beautiful energy of openness, of wholesomeness. I know that that's a funny word. I always think that's such an old-fashioned word, but that is what I'm getting here. It's like 
fresh, you know, this beautiful openness. It's, it doesn't feel jaded to me. So even if you've had experiences, it's like you haven't become jaded, you haven't become disheartened. Even with that um, star card in reverse, like there have been things that haven't maybe turned out exactly as you hoped at the moment you hoped, but still you continue on. Still you continue on. And particularly if someone said to you, you should do it this way. And you're like, no, that's okay. I'd rather take the longer path if it's my path. All right, so I want to keep going here. For those that are resonating, how else are they seeing pile three? I'm really... Um, okay, change. Let's have a look. So we've got change. We've got passion. Honestly, I couldn't have um, pulled the cards more um, connected to what we've been getting. So, you know, you are very open to change and you will follow your passion. But this is what we kept getting, you know, the openness. You're not someone who shuts down regardless of what has happened. They see you as someone with a very open heart, as someone who is ready, like I said. And I feel like this person is, regardless of what kind of connection this is, is very drawn to you. If it's a romantic connection, they may be finding they can't stop thinking about you. If this is someone who is a friend, I feel like they want to be around you. And if it's a some sort of business connection, they may want to form part of this connection or collaboration but whoever it is they may also feel like they can't quite get enough of your time or they can't pin you down for enough time like this is a busy feeling like this feels busy to me someone who moves from one thing to the other comes in you get a bit of their time they sense your connection they sense your excitement they sense this beautiful willingness to explore the world to explore ideas to dive into the imagination, the what ifs, but then the next thing they know, maybe you're off and doing something else. So I get a quick moving kind of energy here. Let's have a look at these cards. Okay, I'm take these two. Melting and seduction. So we just talked a minute ago about they may be finding that they can't get you off their mind. And do you know with this devil card here too, the other thing is perhaps they feel like you're very aware that others are very drawn to you or that others are magnetized to you or that you have the ability to... I was going to say captivate, but with this word, word melting, it's it's a bit more than that, isn't it? It's like others are maybe softened by you, like they connect with you and they may feel like, yeah, I'm not really interested in what this person wants to talk to me about. But when they talk to you, I feel like they open up to you because they can sense something about your openness and it's very seductive and I know seductive can have those um, romance connotations and in that context yes I feel like there may be many people that are drawn to you and this person might feel like pile three knows that they have this seductive quality to them this quality to them that draws other, others to them possibly including this person but if it's not a romantic connection I feel like they, they're looking at you as someone who I was going to say knows how to use their words, but it's not even knowing how to use your words. Just has this presence that melts people, like their hearts soften to you, their hearts melt to you. People open up to you. People want to be around you. And even if they may connect with you initially, thinking that you 
um, are trying to talk to them about something they're not interested in or they don't really know you. There is something very quickly about you that captivates them, that captures their interest, that gets them thinking about you and your ideas possibly. So for those of you where you are, regardless of you're, if you're asking about a romantic connection or not, I just want to do a little bit of a side note here. For those of you who are doing something creative or putting your work out into the world, I feel like there may be something around you capitalising on or using your skills of connecting with people. And I don't feel that there's anything negative about this at all. This is something beautiful about the quality that you carry, something beautiful just about your personality. And I feel something that is very, it's the authenticity that we talked about before that's what it is is the authenticity people pick up on it and that is seductive because we live in a world of a lot of fake stuff a lot of pretense a lot of labels a lot of acting a lot of pretend but there's something about you reg regardless of whatever is going on around in the environment that feels authentic. And I feel like it draws people in. It calls people in. So if you are doing something over here, if you are doing something to do with business or stepping out into the world, expanding yourself in terms of your own endeavours, I feel like this is something that um, will really be of benefit to you. And this person is saying, you know what, Pile Free is really going to captivate a lot of people the way they've captivated me you know because they have this quality so let's keep going <clears throat> now i've got this straight talking tarot here and then i've got the love edition for those that are asking about love so let's pull some cards here Sometimes when I'm doing a reading, I feel like I'm sitting with the person I'm reading for or about. So it's really um, been lovely sitting with your pile, pile three, spending time here. Let's just get one more. Okay. So what have we got? Shut up, okay. Embrace differences. Beware. Self-care isn't selfish. So these two cards here are making me feel like perhaps there was something about um, you in the past feeling like you were silenced or being told that you needed to do a certain um walk in life you know like be a certain way be careful of being that way be careful of trying to follow your passion it won't get you anywhere or why don't you just be quiet and listen to what I've got to say it's the best advice I've got all this life experience maybe there was something around that okay or you should do it this way this is the best way to do it something there but embracing differences and self-care I feel like this is more in alignment with um, where you're at Okay, and all the pieces of the jigsaw falling into place. So let's, you take those as they connect with you, but let's just keep going here. I'm going to get some more on the table. Okay, I'm going to take this one. Addiction, okay, and sitting right on that devil card too. So someone may feel, <laughs> okay, a fake, interesting. Let's just keep going. So someone may feel like being around you is uh, just something they can't get enough of, all right, or that you are there weakness, okay, and envy. Let me just get another one on that fake card because that was the one thing that I kept getting through this whole reading that you are not. I feel like you could be someone that others feel very drawn to and can't get off their mind with that devil card there. But let me just get another one for fake. Why is fake coming up here? Show me why fake's coming up here. I 
Oops. Okay. So we've got loneliness and we've got this little um, excerpt from like a dictionary. It's got all these words with adult at the beginning. Interesting, considering what we were talking about. So we did talk about this person perhaps perceiving you as doing things on your own, you know, despite the fact others may have offered to help. But what I also got very strongly was that one of the reasons you may be doing that is because you want to do things a particular way and you don't want others molding your life or telling you the direction to go. Or maybe there was something about your upbringing where you were told this is how it's going to play out or this is the type of life to live. Now, with the loneliness and all these, I feel like adult is the common word here. And fake. Let me just hold them for a moment and just hold that. Do you know what this is making me feel like, Pile 3? Maybe this person feels like you need more people like you that are... in their youthful energy and I don't care how old you are you can be as old as you like and you can have a youthful energy I've met young people that have a um, older energy and I've met older people that have a youthful energy it doesn't matter about age we all carry different vibrations here but with adult and loneliness there may be something about you feeling like this whole world of doing the adult stuff you know doing the being the grown-up and working towards these goals can sometimes feel a little bit lonely, but you don't want to move towards this. Like, it may feel fake. It may not feel like your authentic self. Even though, you know, you're an adult, there's something here that it's not including all of you. Like, just this aspect of the adult life, like doing all this adult stuff, it's... Maybe neglecting a part of you that wants connection, wants playfulness. So maybe this person feels like you would benefit from a more playfulness or connecting more with this energy here, this fun, you know, downtime, connecting with more people maybe who have that kind of vibe or who are like you, more like-minded people. So take that if and as it connects. Envy, perhaps they feel like there are people around you who envy you. And honestly, well, definitely I get a very honest vibe from all of your cards. I have to say that, pile three, because everything about your whole pile came through as very like you've been through some stuff, you maybe have some people in the past, like I said, who have tried to steer you or tell you how to do things, but you're very much, no, I need to do things the way that feels honest and feels right for me. So let's get some letters for those who are resonating. Oops. We've got Z, N, S, D, A, Z, L, and I always note when I get doubles, could be doubles of any letters. It doesn't have to be the Zs. S and S again. So double letters could be important here. In someone's name or a place. K, E, X, P. I'm getting a very strange message through. C, hang on, I'll tell you in a second. D, K. I'm getting a message through that um, many of you coming to Pile 3 may love stationery. Now, I don't know why that would come through, but I just got that as I was laying the letters out. Uh, something around stationery or maybe there's a connection to stationery for some of you or writing could be important. Something around um, papers and different types, just different types of stationery. I got the word stationery, so take it or leave it. B-I-T-W-N-B. Okay, I don't, um, 
sit and channel these in the readings anymore because I just take so long to do that. But if you're interested in that, I may just put out a few readings where I do the channeling and take up more time. It just takes me a long time and I feel like I've got to reduce down all the time of me sitting here. Otherwise, you'd be bored out of your head. So let's get some charms. For part three, please. So the little music notes just fell on the floor, the little um, thing for music. So music could be very important. Many of you may be musical, may have connections to music or work somewhere where music is, have a job somewhere where music is played in the background. We've got the pink dress or so something around a particular dress. Maybe this person notices that you dress really well or there's something around because it is a dress, maybe you dress in a very soft way or a very gentle way of dressing, something around that. There's that little musical instrument. So something around music could be very relevant to you. They feel like you're a very sweet person. I did definitely get that with your reading. We've got the letter N. We've got a hat here. They may feel like you're very good at a lot of things, you know, like this jack of all trades or jill of all trades with the hat there. We've got the soccer ball. So soccer could be um, connected maybe to you or the person on your mind. But I always think of a soccer ball, uh, the way that they use their feet, which is making me think of um, dance as well. So feet could be something around feet or soccer. We've got a K. We've got a tree. So you may be very health conscious is what I'm getting with that one. Um, do you know, I'm not really sure what this one is. You can tell me if you know. I don't even recall ever pulling this out before, to be honest. Let me just have a look. Is it a torch? I'm not sure. I'm going to put that there. Maybe some of you have some ideas on that one. There's an O. So that makes a no. Maybe they feel and a K N O. Just missing a W. So no and no, as in knowing. A stingray. Yeah, you're very selective in who you let in. I love you. Okay. Follow your heart. Definitely what we got for your pile. Um, the little thong there. So maybe there is something around um, feet because I did mention it here. And I often feel like the thong talks about something being casual or someone being very laid back, which it could be. But also the connection to um, the foot there. Tarot. I feel like many of you coming to this pile are tarot readers. I'm getting that through as I'm um, holding this. I don't always get that many are, but I feel like in this pile many are. We've got an L. We've got a softball and a baseball mitt and ball. We've got the brain there. So they see you as someone who is very intelligent. And we've got a Y. Okay, so I'm not sure how many words I could spell with that, but I can see okay, that's what I've got for you, pile three. I hope that it was helpful to you and brought through some messages that resonated with you. If it did, if you can hit that like button, it does help the channel a lot. I love to hear from you in the comments. That is always beautiful to connect with you guys. And I'm sending you lots of love. Feel free to tell me if there are any readings that you'd like to see coming up. And yeah, take care. See you later. Bye.